Today on Player Focus, we're going to discuss one of NBA's prolific scorers and why he's my next bet on the hobby to take off. It's game time. What's up, YouTube? Car Boss here. We talk about everything cards, money, investing. All right, let's go. Damian Lillard, 6 2 guard for the Portland Trail Blazers, had another astounding season, averaging 28.8 points, 7.5 assists, and shooting almost 40% from the three point mark. He once again anchored his team to the sixth spot in the playoffs, only to be bounced off by a Denver Nuggets team that was less than full strength. The only coach that he had in Terry Stotts was asked to leave just days after, and the Blazers are now in a crossroads where Lillard is entering his 10th season, no head coach, and $75 million dedicated to next year to a backcourt that has only gone out of first round of the playoffs only three times in the last eight years. And I guess that sums out the reason for a need of change for the upcoming season, which kicked off with Stott's departure and likely potentially new supporting cast surrounding the superstar. When we look at the Blazers, we sometimes draw a comparison to the 2014 Warriors, where they ran back the same team a number of seasons before a hit coaching change, and of course addition of some key reserves that catapulted them to a championship. On paper, the Blazers seem like they have the right pieces to compete, but this postseason and the last, the Blazers were exposed to some weaknesses in the front court in defending the paint and opposing superstars, despite having solid defenders in Robert Covington and CJ McCollum. With all that being said, they need some help and it's likely getting it this season. What I'm unsure is whether or not will it be a James Harden kind of help or a Drew Holiday type of retooling. Megastar trades are not uncommon these days and rumours have started to circle to bring in Carl Anthony Towns, though I'm not sure if the Blazers have the right pieces to make such a trade happen. The NBA card market had three peak points in the last 12 months, the first at the start of the pandemic, the second when the season resumed in August, and the most recent was the crazy spikes in early February this year. But prices started to cool when the postseason began this year, and Dame's prices cooled back down to the $800 mark which could be the support line for his 2012 prison-based rookie card. Perhaps a close comparison to Dame's trend would be of Devin Booker. Book's cards also saw similar waves in August last year, especially when the Suns went 8-0 in the bubble, but it cooled off after the season was over. The Suns acquired Chris Paul shortly after, and Book's cards started to sizzle again. Now, it didn't last long, but it was long enough to capitalize on a 65% growth within a 30-45 to 45 day span. There is justification that you should wait until the season is actually over and might be able to pick up some of Dame's prisms at a slightly lower rate around the $700 mark and go from there. This is perfectly fine, although I'm only advocating his prism based PSA 10 at the moment and not his select, even though select has a lower pop count. The play here is more of buy in and get out fast, so having the most popular and liquid asset in prism will be the focal play here. So, in my opinion, Regardless of the personnel change, Dame's prices will look to rebound and its quantum would be subject to what kind of help that's coming in. I don't expect the Blazers to just stand pat considering the number of expiring contracts they have and if they can find a suitor for McCollum. The Blazers hasn't had a prime all-star on their roster since Lamarcus Aldridge. No disrespect to Kamalo Anthony. What would be the sell-off point? Again, it depends on the help. Western Conference is a tough feel and if and only if they bring in a Towns kind of caliber, Dame's cards could easily fall back off again after the season begin. However, it can pick up again five to six months later, depending on how the shakeup unfolds. My recommended play is to pick up at most three to four copies of his Prism PSA 10s around the 700 to 800 mark, and flip at least half your holdings when it hits around the 1000 to 1100 mark at the start of the season. Don't get greedy. And what about high-end stuff like his NTRPA. Personally, I'm not a fan of high-end stuff if they're not sure shot players like a LeBron, Kobe, or Luka. The prices on these are really extremely high for the average investor and I would prefer to cast my net a bit wider. In conclusion, the change in head coach looks like the first domino to fall and it's pretty obvious that they need a fresh start in a positive way and I do foresee that his card prices will soon reflect that in the coming months. So if you guys like this video and found it very useful, do like and subscribe for more content in the future. I will be putting up similar videos 
So do watch out for that. Thanks and have a great day.